Hi, Saints. I'm going to explain something to you Obama just did, and I, in effect, think that he, <laughs> this move is going to kill the middle class. And let, hear me out. Let me explain this to you, and you tell me, you know, message me, tell me what you think. There's this report that came out from the USA News and Washington Post, okay? You see, salaried employees, whether they're administrative staff or management, they don't get overtime if they work 40 to 60 hours, right? Now, I know that that's not fair, but it's not like that with all companies. There are some companies that will pay salaried employees overtime. I know this because the company I work for does that with their salaried employees. Now, I'm hourly, okay? And um, there are other companies, like I said, that pay their company, their employees, salaried employees overtime. And, you know, they're your mid to large size businesses that do that, okay? Not all companies do that. Probably about half of companies pay their employees, salaried employees, just 40 hours, even if they work 60, 70 hours, and that's administrative staff, I mean, uh, management, it's management, and professional staff. Now, um, and I believe even some administrative staff. Now, you might say, well, that's not fair and stuff like that. You know, these people need to get paid for the hours that they work. Okay, I agree with you that they should, but you need to understand what Obama's doing. He's telling these companies that are doing this that they have to, they have to, that he's going to lift the threshold. That if they, that they have a choice, they can either pay their employees overtime for the hours that they uh, work or cap it at 40 hours. And like I said, this is management staff and administrative staff. So you might think, okay, that's a good option. Okay, it's not entirely a good option. You need to understand a couple of things. It's a burden on the employer, and it's going to be a burden on the employee because what the employer is going to do is they're going to say, we're not going to do that, you know. Um, you know, and okay, I agree that the employee should get paid an hourly, I mean, they should get paid what they work for, but, you know, on the same token, these employees that sign up for these jobs, these management jobs, professional jobs, and administrative jobs, they know what they're getting into when they accepted the job in the first place. They knew that their job is going to be, it's salaried, and if they work over 40 hours a week, then they're not going to get any more than that. It's just going to be 40 hours. They knew that going in. They knew that going in, first of all. You know, if you had a problem with it from the beginning, don't accept the job. You know what I'm saying? You could still find an hourly job that pays, I mean, a management job that pays hourly, you know? But let me finish here. So... This is going to put the companies, you know, back them up into a corner. They're going to either cut their employees' hours and, you know, they're going to keep them at 40 hours, which, okay, it's a good thing that they, you know, these, these are salaried employees, you know, work 40 hours cap and don't, don't uh, overwork them by making them work these extra hours. But then these employers are going to take other steps such as hiring part-time staff to cover the extra load that these employers or their employees of management staff aren't working anymore. So that's going to be an extra cost on the employer, okay? Um, they may even be forced to cut jobs, like integrate some departments and lay off some employees to meet these costs, you know? or they may also be forced to, let's say if the, comp if the employer is making 50000 a year, give them, either cut their pay, keep them at 50000 and me at 40 hours and just cut their pay, or change them to hourly, cut their pay so that the pay cut includes whatever overtime that they work. Here's the problem, okay? 
this is affecting those salaried employees that, you know, do get overtime. You understand what I'm saying? They do get overtime. They do get uh, out paid for the extra hours that they work. They do get actual overtime. It's going to affect that group. And at, this, at least 40% of employers that are salaried in mid to large businesses pay their salaried employees overtime. About 50 to 60 don't. So that's a big chunk of people that will be affected, 50 to 40 percent. Those that are salaried and do get overtime, their hours are going to be at either 40 hours. And you know the employers are not going to hesitate to do that to cut their hours. Or they're going to give them a pay cut and still allow them to work 40 hours. And that pay cut to include the 40 hours. Or they're just going to say you can't work on more than 40, still cut their pay. And also go as far as, like I said, as um, cutting staff to meet these costs. Integrating departments, cutting staff to meet these costs. Hiring part-timers or even demoting these salaried staff people as part-timers. Now, again, those are the ones that are not, those are the salaried employees that do get overtime, will face these effects, these impacts. Those that are salaried that don't get overtime, again, could have a pay cut, could be limited to 40 hours, still get a pay cut, can be uh, changed to hourly and still um, get a pay cut, change, be changed to hourly to include the overtime that they may work. And that also applies to employees that are salaried and do currently get overtime. Now, for both groups, they can also be demoted and still get a pay cut. Get demoted, get a pay cut, and maybe even, you know, be restricted to 40 hours, and that's it. So Obama thinks that he's helping the employer and the employee, but in reality, he's making things worse. He's actually killing the middle class. Now, um, you can, this, these changes are supposed to take effect December 1st, 20. Uh, 16. This is supposed to take effect then. Now you also have to consider one thing. Medium to large size businesses are more likely to absorb these costs, but they can only absorb so much. These types of changes can affect a business, even as far as causing them to close their, forcing them to close their doors. It can also prompt these businesses, like I said, to lay off lots of people to meet, to save costs. To meet these costs, to save and cut costs. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention as well is that, uh, what about the small businesses that have salaried employees? Do you think they can accept these changes and afford them at that? No. Their, uh, what's their, how this is going to affect them is going to be even more steep. In other words, if they have a salaried employee, they're either going to cap them at 40 hours and that's it. Plus, okay, they're going to cap them at 40 hours. This is for those that get overtime or don't get overtime. Okay, they're going to cap them at 40 hours. They are going to cut their pay. And uh, they're going to cut their pay to the point to make sure that the extra, the overtime is included in that. They may even go as far as demoting them or reducing them, you know, um, to part-time and hiring extra part-time staff like these other companies could possibly do. This can cause all employees to go to part-time status and hourly. So they'll lose benefits, they'll lose vacation, they'll lose their 401k, you name it. You know, and still these employees, employers can cap, cap these employees' hours at 40 and say you're not going to work overtime at all. And they could just hire part-time people and have like 10 part-time people on staff. That way they don't pay them benefits. They could hire part-time staff to pick up the slack where overtime could have helped out. That way these people don't get overtime. The, the full-timers will not get overtime. If they reduce them to part-time, they won't get benefits. They'll lose everything. This president is killing the middle class. If he thinks that this policy is going to help, it's not. 
he could have found a better way. Like, he could have been, he could have told, uh, I'm he could have told these salary companies, look, you have employees that are staffed with you that are working full time and work sometimes 60, 70 hours a week. He could have basically told them to, um, he could have told them that any extra hours they work, you have to pay them overtime based on the salary that they currently make and that can easily be calculated or you need to keep them at 40 hours that's fair I understand that and that should only apply to the employees that are salaried and not getting any overtime at all not to the salaried employees that are getting overtime from jump from the start you also have some some um, employees that are managers, employers that are managers that do extra duty that they shouldn't be doing so another fair way to approach this is to say to those particular employers that your managers should be paid for what they're doing management not to pick up extra duties that a less employee is supposed to be doing because there are some companies that will do that instead of hiring extra bodies to face, you know, to handle any extra tasks, they'll have a manager do, do a work, like I say, a manager at a store do the work of a cashier. Same thing, you know, all across the board. So all across the board with these policies in place, manage, man, management should perform their duties. Okay? But you need to understand something. These employers that take these jobs regarding the salary that, that the salary that the, the salary where there's no overtime and it specifies it they also sign up for these jobs that says an extra duties as a sign so you know Obama should have said that with these new guidelines in place management should be paid for managerial duties not anything beyond that and if you're gonna have them do extra work then you need to give them a raise or something the same thing for uh, uh, no, like I said, for salaried employees all across the board. But he didn't put that in place at all. I read this, he's, this policy he wants to have, and it's going to put a lot of burden on the employers, especially the small businesses. It's going to cause a lot of small businesses to close the door because they're not going to be able to handle this cost. Essentially, what's going to happen is it's going to be a lot more layoffs than anticipated. A lot of people's hours are going to be cut. They're going to be capped at 40. Um, they're going to even be told that uh, you know they can't you know like I said they're gonna be capped at 40 they will be demoted the hours will be cut their pay will be cut they will be converted to hourly and a lot of companies like I said will opt to cap to cutting their hours demoting them making them part-time these people will lose their benefits and just hiring on part-time people and that's it so Obama's not helping you know say he's killing the middle class He's not helping at all. He's putting a lot of burdens on employers, especially the small ones. And he's putting in, in burdens on salaried employees that currently do get overtime. Bottom line is when people take these jobs, they are told that there's no overtime. And their duties are, there's going to be extra duties assigned. It's their choice to take these jobs. I know it's not a fair situation, but it's their choice. But Obama could have found a balance. He could have handled this in a way that would not affect companies and employees. It's going to have a bad chain reaction. You're going to see lots of layoffs. Lots of layoffs. You know, these changes in place, companies will be burdened by it and they will protect their businesses because this, these changes can, can cause an employer to close their doors, whether they're big, small, or large business. This is a decision unlike anything I've ever seen, and I suppose it's part of the times. This guy is killing the middle class. And you know something? He didn't make this policy effective for the higher class. It's only the middle class that it applies to, and the lower class, too. It doesn't apply to the rich. That's what's strange. That's what's caught my attention. Look, you should Google uh, Obama increases overtime. And then you'll see all these articles. This policy applies towards the middle class and lower class. It doesn't even apply towards the, the higher class. That's how I know that this man did this intentionally. He strategically planned this.